Hi, this is Helen with Dynamis Learning Academy, and today we're going to talk about a particular issue that we see in a lot of children today. It's called Executive Functioning Disorder, and we have Megan here to help us uh, speak about that. She has a lot of experience with uh, tutoring children with that type of issue. Mm -hmm. So tell us a little bit about yourself first, or your hey, name. Helen. Hey, Helen. Yes, it's <laughs> so good to be here. I'm Meg Patterson, and I have a company called Tutoring for Excellence. And actually, we focus on helping kids that have this EFD, which is long word, executive functioning disorder. Yes, so I'm here to tell you what that is. Yes. And what, talk a little bit about it. Tell us a little bit about what is executive functioning disorder. Okay, in a nutshell, it's the inability to perform necessary tasks. And it can be academic or life skills. Okay, and what what causes or what kind of characteristics do you see in a child with that type of disorder? Okay, children that have this disorder, and it is a disorder, um, typically they'll be late to appointments, they have trouble organizing themselves. This can be, okay, just give you a scenario, they come home, their book bag, in the very bottom of it, the black hole of papers mm. stashed in just all kinds of different ways, and you find what they were supposed to turn in like a week late. So it can be anything from leaving um, leaving their food out on the counter at home, those are life skills things, to not being able to make up their bed, any chores that they need to do, things like that. So it's life skills or academic skills difficulties. And what about like motion? Does like videos, things like that affect them and slow them down or? Oh yeah, TV, video games. Right, video, video games. Oh, that's the buzz. Even professional, like, yes. uh, you know, uh, academic videos that they need to watch for school. To, uh -huh. to get things accomplished and comprehended and answer questions. Does that does that slow them down having this disorder, would you uh, say? Actually, I think that can be beneficial. Okay. Because a lot of the kids that have this problem, they're, one of their main modalities of learning things is electronic. So that's a, a great way to help them if you have something mm -hmm. yeah, set up that can, that can assist them. And what strategies would you say are, are good for children that have EFD? Okay, well first we have to identify what their disorder is, which, which category it is in. If it's life skills or academic skills or both. Mm -hmm. Okay, so once we do that, we want to have a conversation, do a little inventory, and we want to find out exactly what it, we want to do like a diagnostic, like being a doctor. We want to try and find exactly what the problem is. So then we can put our strategy together. So let's say they have a problem with pacing their assignments just even knowing what their assignments are and getting them in. Mm -hmm. So we can teach them what an agenda is and how to use it. A lot of times they have, they have agendas from years past and they've never used them. And whiteboard training is one thing we can do where they have an actual, use a whiteboard, put it in their bedroom, and it gives them detailed list of what it is that I need to do. Checklists, they help so much. Sometimes kids have become very emotional about their problem. So they'll react in anger, or they'll have a problem, like when someone tries to point it out, they'll be very defensive about it. So we want to teach them how to push pause. We want to mm -hmm. teach them, okay, there's a little button, imaginary, right here. Just take a breath and think about the best choice. Mm -hmm. So okay. there's lots of different strategies we can use. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, um, that's uh, all about executive functioning disorder. If you'd like to know more information, and just look below, and you can contact us in that information with my email or phone number, and we'll be happy to discuss more, more about the uh, disorder if you see those type of characteristics in your child. Thank you. Thank you.